next is uh, an IFA network pool of expert patients. We can move to the next slide. Um, as we said at the very beginning, this uh, uh, training uh, has been conceived as part of the IFA capacity building program, which we have been running since 2013. And actually in 2012, we already had a meet and greet the EU training on the European Medicines Agency. Now, almost 10 years later, we wanted to renew that as our commitment to work with the European Medicines Agency and also to widen this to the, to the respiratory community, given that we are closely working at European level and that, um, and that we are in contact and this is a, an online environment today. Just to give a, a, a more insight on how the, the respiratory community is represented at EMA, uh, Maria uh, explains that the patients, um, the PCWP has uh, today 22 members and there are 37 or 39, correct me if I'm wrong, um, eligible organizations that are registered at European level in the EMA. Within the P Patients and Consumers W uh, Working Party, there are three organizations that might be those representing uh, the members that, uh, and the patient representatives that we have today in our call. One is IFA, and our disease areas we cover allergy, asthma, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. When EMA has a, has a, a, a procedure or, or a scientific ad advice group that they would like to uh, have a patient reviewing, uh, IFA is then informed and we contact our working groups that are disease specific to then seek for uh, patients that would be interested in volunteering and reviewing, participating in a process. The same goes on with uh, Eurordis. Uh, which is representative for all rare diseases in Europe, including lung rare diseases. And some of the representatives today uh, are members or are uh, working with organizations who are members of Eurordis. So you might be also contacted through Eurordis for that. And the uh, third one is the European Lung uh, Foundation, which covers all the respiratory diseases that are not represented in the EMA Patients and Consumer Working Party. And then Health contacts the relevant organization and their patient advisory group. So those are three channels through which um, patients from the respiratory community, community and also allergy can be contacted or can be asked to be volunteering uh, patient experts to, towards EMA. But EMA does request patients experts beyond the patient uh, consumers working party. Do you want to uh, become a patient expert? There are several ways to get involved. The European level patient groups can register and, as patient eligible organizations. Individual patients on allergy, asthma, and COPD that wish to be part of IFA network pool can contact IFA. Individual patients from other disease areas can volunteer through Eurordis and through ELF. And also, as Maria mentioned at the beginning of her uh, presentation, all patients and carers can register as individual patient experts independently of patient groups. So we do truly recommend that whether you are in a patient organization that is represented at European level, and, and I apologize because I have forgotten to mention, in PCWP, there is also ECPC. We have uh, today the, the, the Cancer Patient Coalition of whom we have today uh, one representative joining. Apologies for this. Um, so you can either uh, volunteer through that European level organization or try to uh, be part of the database at national level with a national patient group and then be part of the individual database that EMA uh, is also looking at when you, there are procedures that are requiring um, disease specific. Um, patients. So we can only recommend to go to the uh, EMA account, create a, a, your, um, your own profile, and then wait uh, that there is a, an opening procedure there. 